still it still acts up i don't know why like it's probably because i'm using a bluetooth i'm losing i'm using a wireless i should use a wired one in wired it it reduces the uh the the, the chances of uh having problems like this are you because you do something ram Okay, I'm sorry, for the first match, I'm gonna have to monitor a bit what happens in the other bracket, see if there's no problem. So I won't be uh, commentating a bit. Uh, so I'm really sorry, I apologize in advance. But yeah, I need to monitor the tournament as well. I wish I could fully focus on you guys, but unfortunately, just the, yeah, the first like two matches, I really need to keep an eye out on the, on the rest of the tournament, but usually it should be okay. Oh, okay, that should be okay. Okay, anyways, here we go. So, uh, here we go with random player trying to keep Nikojiru in the corner. And Nikojiru, extremely well done, takes the first round. Let's see what happens in the following rounds as well. Here we go, the frog in order to anti-air Nikojiru. Very well done by random player. I don't know if it was uh, on, re on reaction or not, but it was... Oh yeah, definitely. How come if you could, that would be really, really, really great. Let me go in, uh... Do you need to... Do you need the virtual... Yeah, you need the virtual camera. Let me, uh, just go in Discord real quick. And a perfect from... Uh... From... Random player, actually. Very, very nicely done. I have to put my... It's it. Real quick. And... Here we go! Yo, Hagma, how are you doing? Hopefully we can hear you. Yo, yeah, we can hear you. How are you doing? I put the feed as well, if you need it. I think you do. No, let's go. <laughs> uh, I, need my, I need my kill to get strike fixed. <laughs> no problem. Yeah. You'll get it here. No worries. Thanks for joining, man. Really, really lifesaver. No problem, man. Okay, so I think you have the video feed. Do you need the video feed or can you come to the room yeah, directly? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. It's okay, I'll give you. No worries. So maybe a little delay, but here we go. Big ass shark bite. Yo, and who says the ladder matchup is uh, not three. in Zada's favor against Ram Lee? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, who's, who's saying that's three? <laughs> Honestly, ignorance. <laughs> Honestly. Honest ignorance. Exactly, Yo, but that, what's so really, really surprising is though is that <laughs> what's really, really surprising though is that Nikojiro resorts to using Ram Lethal though. Okay. Wow, here you go. He, okay, now Nikojiro is gonna rock his main because Nikojiro is actually okay. not a Ram uh, main. He's a uh, Potemkin main. So now, now we're getting started. He's actually uh, won the previous Road Drill Cup that he participated to. The music okay. is a little bit loud. Really? Okay. Let me check real quick. Yo, I'm Chop, yeah, chop, the, the music is loud, but you can hear us, right? I think. Does chat? Does you ha do you have problems like hearing me even with the music um, on top? Damn, the craziest of the crazy pods. Exactly. Damn, we can hear you, but it's hard to hear the game. Ah, okay. Well, I can uh, can make it so that the game is a little bit uh, louder than just one second, please. Six feet of the god. <laughs> Look at this pressure. Thanking the room to breathe. <laughs> Damn, son. And look at the anti air. That has such a good air control buttons. For real. <laughs> Not that we are. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, when I can't hit your random player. Uh, definitely laying the pressure. I'm not giving Neko any room to breathe at all in this, uh, this lot. That's a bet, first round. Okay, Garuda. Okay, would that be better for the video game, the game song? No. Why don't you stop? It's alright now. Okay, perfect. I'll leave it like this. Okay, here we go. So. Uh, okay, we got it. Okay, no other messages from chat. It should be okay. Le ah, let me check real Ooh. quick. Cool, he does not touch you. Well done. Oh my god. Damn. My lord. That, that, that was that, pretty that cool. Nasty. 
Okay, now I can focus a little bit on the game as well. I'm sorry, Hagelman, for just leaving you there on the, on the comment. Nah, cool, <laughs> okay, here we go. Random player, unfortunately, in the Garuda uh, hell right there. Wow, my lord, he's going... Is this death? Is this death? Oh, my lord. <laughs> GA, this is what I'm talking about. Here we go, finally. <laughs> it's about freaking time. I'm really sorry, guys, for the wait, but finally we are in for the third match of this encounter right there. An immediate uh, burst caused by Nekojiru, who himself was uh, forced to burst in order to prevent further uh, offense from random player. And that conversion, look at the damage. Where did your life go, bro? Oh, and no, you are not fuzzy jumping out of this pressure, man. <laughs> Holy crap, that was big. Yeah, probably. But yeah, I'm... oh my lord! And here we go with Nikozito going ham with the slider heads, man. No, you are not sending Eddie. Oh, and here we go with the cheeky attempt of command grabbing right there. And Nikozito extremely patient still. Look, ah, okay, here you go. He probably tried to fuzzy jump out of the pressure right there. And random player finds the opening. He wasn't quite able to connect with his uh, two HS right there, but it's still okay. He's still knocked out. Oh my god! Look at the slider heads. <laughs> Look at the slider heads, man. It's so crazy. Uh, Nikozito is probably the character, the player who uses slider head the most, I think. Okay, and here we go with yeah, the overdrive. Slider head damage for yourself. Like you're finding your face into the floor. That's gotta hurt, man. Exactly. Well, uh, I, I think the slider head doesn't make damage. It doesn't cause damage, right? No, no, no. My it's physical damage, no, yeah. no, no. I wonder if it... it, if it yeah. It just causes knockdown, yeah. I don't even know if you you make a tension. You you build tension off of it. I'm not quite sure. Okay, and here we go in a quick first... Well, second, third match, actually. A quick third match from Nikolajidu takes it extremely convincingly, man. He's probably eager to finish it so we can move on to the next battle, man. We've been waiting so long, and probably it's the same for random player. Hopefully this uh, next battle is going to pan out quite smoothly and we won't be having any connection error. I hope I didn't jinx it, please. Please, this my eagle lord. Is always just scary. Come on, eagle. Fly to the screen. Fly to the screen. Fly to the screen. Fly. Yes, we're Thank in. Yes. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> yes, we're going to have potentially the final uh, the final match of this encounter. Well, right there, Nikolaj definitely took it extremely convincingly the two uh, last times. So random player is probably going to have to uh, well try to find something in order to shift the momentum because it's all in Nikolaj's favor right now. Oh, and that... Big, big, big counter hit, man. Ooh, because you know, is still fight, fighting in the corner, but doing a good job of doing so. Oh, he calls random player to take it to the air. Random player being extremely slippery, like not giving any opportunity for Nikojiri to try and pin him down. Here we go using uh, Eddie to keep him in place. And here we go with the very good awareness of Nikojiri to grab him out of his offense, man. Okay, here we go. Yeah, but you're in. Yeah, you're in Garuda Impact. Oh, town. Is that death? No, it's not. Oh. I wonder if he, if he used the tension, would would that been able to to kill a uh, random player? I'm not quite sure. Oh, the patient of random player realizing that Nikuji was going for a quick dust. Really well played by random player. And thank you very much, Jules DCM, for the follow. Really appreciate it. Okay, here we go with the spiral from random player. Okay, using Eddie again to keep Nikoji in the corner. Very nice opening from random player. He's gonna get the wall break. Oh, almost got it. Unfortunately, and here we go with the butt fall. I don't know how you call this move, it's the butt fall. <laughs> the butt fall. <laughs> the best move in the game. Oh, and you're gonna. No, what the hell happened here? What? The. How did what happened here? It went through Eddie like he didn't even exist. <laughs> God damn! This like what activates, right? Okay, but it's strange since he already he already launched the attack. Maybe maybe Zato can get hit out of this uh, move if you hit like Zato while he's out. Okay, okay, that's the reason why. That's unfortunate. I I think I think so. I've never seen that before, but I guess like Ramley I like it from. If you hit Ram while the sword is still down, yeah. and, and then you don't get hit, yeah. No, that's probably the same, but you would have thought that since it's an overdrive, they would at least give him like a, a continuation, regardless of whether Zato gets hit or not, you know, since he's using Bar to, to do it, you know. I mean, yeah, look at Baiken. If Baiken like launches her, uh, her fireworks, 
Uh, even if you hit her, it'll trade at worst. Uh, at, at, at worst, it's gonna trade, right? I think, by can. It doesn't make the, 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 the projectile disappear if I'm correct. I don't think so, at least. Yeah. And here we go, and they cause you back on track. My lord, but Random Player really doing a good job, man. He's on the verge of taking this. Uh, oh, and here we go with the spikes. The spikes from the pikes. Random Player. The pikes. <laughs> the pikes. <laughs> Yeah, making a shish kebab off of uh, Nikojita right there. Very, very nicely done by Random Player. Definitely like holding his own and not being completely, not being free at all, actually. He's definitely holding his own. Yo, Roy Lannister, how you doing? Comment ça va? And here we go. I hope nobody called me in between. No, it's okay. We are still good. Uh, just waiting for uh, further advancements. From this round, this is definitely going to be the last round of this encounter. Yeah. Très bien, vous, je vais très très bien. Merci pour, merci de me vous voyez. <laughs> okay, and here we go with random player just keeping. Oh, attempting to keep. Oh, Roy Lennon. Uh, Roy Lennon. It's Nikos you to in the corner. <laughs> Sorry, I got. Yeah, my head just. Coucou, Cayenne, ça se passe le temps. Ça se passe très bien. Super Cat. Encore mieux depuis que tu es là. Comment vas-tu, mec? And here we go with the relentless slider heads from Nikosidu, really, really wanting to, well, to, to put basically random player on the floor, doesn't want him to move whatsoever, doesn't want him to start an offense, but regardless of what Nikosidu actually wanted, the oh, commentator. Right. <laughs> okay, okay, auto for me, Roy Lannister, okay, auto for me. And here we go with the grab from Nikosidu, manages to take it, we are on match point, let's see how this pans out, again slider head man, it has been working so good for Nikosidu man, oh here we go, the midi 2s, this did a lot of damage, and again the midi 2s take throw into the command grab, that was big man, like, literally like throw a coin and like wish for the best. And wait, we're still still not out of the waters. We need to be in the actual match for it to be uh, good. But here we go. We are finally in the match. I'm sorry for the wait, guys. We can finally move on to the next battle. And here we go with Me Murasaki Megu. Uh, had a pretty decent start of the round, but unfortunately was uh, opened up by Mugi. Forced the burst upon Megu. And here we go with Mugi making his way ever so slightly to the other corner. Try to push Megu and here we go with the wow. Ram Slam, the signature move of Megu. Megu loves this move, I am sure if you ask him. What is your favorite move with Ram? He is going to say the Ram Slam. I am 100% positive about it. And here we go, very nice trade in favor of Megu. Was able to put ever so slightly Mugi in the corner. Mugi still holding on to his burst. And Megu had the correct call, but didn't actually, I think, uh, ended up a double, um, well, kind of doubting himself in the end and wasn't able to uh, get the proper punish off of the burst. But just like this, the wreck up for the win. Very nicely done by Megu. Gets the first match. Man, man, I'm really prepared to like mini souls, right? You know, like souls is like hard fast, and here it's like maybe approaching the wrecker. Like, you think exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, man. Well, at least the Rekka, well, the first part of the Rekka is 6 p able though. I was gonna say it's uh, 6 p safe, but it's not the case, actually. But the first, yeah, the first Rekka, you can 6 p through it. The rest now, you cannot, so... Hold on. Thank you. Oh, my lord, and the wake up overdrive by Meg. Ooh, and just like this, what you can do, I can do not better, unfortunately, for you, but I had the bar to make it safe. Very nicely done by Mugi. Okay, here we go with the onslaught of Mugi. Wasn't quite able to finish things off and just like this was a recovery punish I think probably uh, I don't actually know but very nicely done by Mugi takes the second round it's a very cool smash man holy crap and here we go yeah Megu as you all know has a lot of uh I I I, I believe has a lot of uh matchup mm. knowledge due to the fact that I'm sure. more often than oh. not uh Megu fights Zeej in tournaments more often than <laughs> not I'm pretty sure so yeah definitely Megu has the Nagori Yuki uh match up Wow, here we go. Oh my lord, and the ransom. What did I tell you guys? What did I tell you guys? <laughs> and just like this, Megu taking it with the perfect, extremely strong statement by Megu. Very, very nice first match right there. Takes the first match. Uh, let's see how things will pan out. Yeah, the perfect, man. The perfect. This is what Megu wanted. This is what Megu had with the Ram Slam, nevertheless, man. The best, yeah. the favorite move of, uh, of Megu. Okay, and Maybe here we go. Knows about it, oh. he, he posted like a, a whole like script on our Discord about um, the matchup between Ramble and 
guy. He's definitely not really. very comfortable like, in this matchup. Like, um, a, like a flow chart or something, right? Like a flow chart, but just like a in this situation, what can you okay, do? Okay. Kind of thing. I think it was like getting it to the kind of uh, giant. And then standing oh, wow. P into the uh, the concept, so that was pretty good from Moogie, holy freaking lord. And oh, okay, good. jumping out just over the, over, uh, I was gonna say, yeah, the overhead from uh, from Megu. Unfortunately for Nago, as all of you know, he doesn't have a air dash, so impossible for him to jump out of the corner. Uh, even though he uh, correctly read the attempt of overhead from Megu. And here we go in Mugi. Found the great, found the absolutely awesome uh, grab right there. Made him switch places with Megu, and just like this, was able to take the win. But still, Megu is still in the lead with one match. Megu <laughs> just needs to take this one right now in order to put things, uh, well, to, to even things out. Megu and Zeej is a very common grand final in SCA yeah, tournament. This is I'm. I'm not even surprised. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh my lord, Mugi just being so smothering Megu with, with with a lot of violent love right there. But yeah, Megu saying, nope, I don't want it. I'm going to push you ever so slightly out of the corner. And Megu finding the counter hit right there. And finally, yeah, both of them switching. Like, seriously, one... It's been like this, uh, they're playing a tennis match right now. The, the one pushes the other one to the corner, then switches side with him, and then the person was pushed in the corner, pushes the other one in the opposite corner, and rinse and repeat. And just like this, though, Meg was able to even things out and take the second round of this uh, match. Let's see if Mugi going to be able to compose himself and bring it back. Very nice 6 speed to punish the standing S from Megu. Here we go with the... Uh, Beyblade, unfortunately for him, Megu definitely was aware of what was going on, and here we go, nice healthy damage right there. Ooh, I don't know if this was an attempt to IAD. Yeah, this was probably a misinput, I guess, and with the Ram Slam. That, guys, I'm telling you, if you see Megu with one bar of tension or more, you can bet your ass that, <laughs> that Megu is definitely gonna be Ram Slamming in the coming in the coming uh, seconds. You can you can bet your ass, man. And here we go with the jump, HS again. I told you, man. <laughs> what did I tell you? I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna call it out every single time Megu is gonna do a Ram Slam. I'm gonna call it out. But nice. that being said, unfortunately for him this time around, Mugi didn't get opened up by it and managed to take the uh, second match. Hopefully nobody's gonna get kicked out of this room, please, please. Please don't get kicked out, please. Kicked out. Now this is gonna be a kick. Out. Yeah, somebody's gonna kicked out. Somebody's gonna get kicked yeah, out of this room. Oh, okay, it's just connection loss, I think. Okay, it's just connection loss. It's good, it's good. Well, it's not good, but it's better than somebody being kicked out of the lobby. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, because I want to put stuff that is good on to like but like, or on Beyblade. Um, but like, I don't know, I feel like, you know, that's, you're, waste, you're kind of wasting your good percent move, but it's blocked, right? If you don't get a good mix afterwards, to, you know, is that With good the management? No, the, uh, the Grand Slam is just... Yeah, uh, oh, well, the thing is that, yeah, Ram Slam is, well, first and foremost, it's, 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 uh, it's punishable and blocked. But the thing is that right. the the space that it takes on the screen, it literally like covers backdash, it covers like jump out attempts, it covers literally everything. So if you have bars, it's actually, and you see that your opponent is like fishing for like, uh, I, I suppose with punish or trying to like, like uh, how do you say it, to uh, space you. Uh, I think it's actually a pretty uh, decent, um, a very decent um, option because the pro rating of, of the Ram Slam is like, it's very good, actually. You can get a lot of damage if you Roman cancel it right after and you continue your your your, uh, your combo. So, but yeah, but Megu tends to use it really, really quite a lot. I feel like, yeah, he should probably, like... Oh, and here we go with the overdrive uh, block into uh, overdrive punish, actually, from Mugi. Very nicely done. He's going to take this... The second match, actually? Yeah, oh my lord, that was quick. Are you serious? I didn't even see the first round. What the hell happened? <laughs> Oh my lord, that was really quick. I didn't even see the second round, the first round. What happened? Okay, here we go on to the next battle. Yeah, he just Nagoriyuki being Nagoriyuki. Yeah, but uh, nevertheless, really well done by Mugi. 
Uh, definitely no yeah, slouch. He has been in the grand finals of uh, several previous Brodo Cups, so he's definitely no slouch. Yeah. Definitely a very, very good Nagoya player. Let's see how Megu pans. Uh, how Megu uh, will. Oh my lord, in the 6B, man. Yeah, Mugi definitely recognizing that Megu is using a little bit too much there. Um, they're, uh, yeah, well, they're, they're, they're standing yeah. S, man. Yeah. Oh, and here we go, the close S into good combo right there. Oh, and my lord, the read of the attempt to grab. The grab got grabbed. Very well done by Mugi. Oh, and the confirms right there. This is going to be a wall break right away. Half of your life out of the window, man. Yeah. Yeah, Mugi is, uh, you can feel he's, uh, mm, he's bursting a bit. Not bursting, but he's exploding. Ah, here we go, oh, the go. jump out attempt from Megu. And here we go, Megu trying to make his way ever so slightly out of the corner, but gets sniped. Yeah. Yeah. I can't help but think of Megumi from Konosuba when I see Megu and Ram in combination. Oh, well, actually, I, I get the feeling. Yeah, I, it's it's totally not uh, abnormal. I think I get the same vibes actually. I keep calling Megu Megumi sometimes also, so it doesn't really help either. And Mortobato equals explosion. Yeah, he definitely exploded. Anyways, that being said, here we go with Kokide already starting his onslaught to keep Edo Setora in the corner. Here we go, very nice 6P from Edo. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to really trust it and continue with his direct claw. Very nice confirm from Koi. This is going to be a big... This. Oh, I thought it was going to kill. Actually not. Still holding on by a thread, a sliver of health. Here we go with the... Oh, my lord. And <laughs> just to dash up Masante for the win by Koi. Very nicely done. <laughs> okay, and here we go with the attempt of Edo to try to, uh, well, basically zone. But... <laughs> Zoning, zoning Giovanna is definitely not as easy as one might think. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I think nobody thinks that it's easy to zone uh, Giovanna out, especially thanks to uh, the mobility of the character. Here we go with Kohide making good use of the 2D. Try to uh, basically get that knockdown and the burst bait. That was a quick 1-0 by Kohide, as expected from him. Kohide, definitely a very strong contender. On the tournament, uh, well, the tournament field of uh, the Japanese tournament field, that is. He has won against TY, he has won against Daru, you know, he has won against a lot of very, very strong uh, players in tournaments, also in right. big tournaments, not just the Brojo Cup. Like, seriously, he won against uh, TY and Daru, you know, in other big tournaments as well. So, yeah, he's definitely a character, not a character, a person you want to keep your eyes on because uh, this guy is definitely something else. And here we go. But yo, yo, hold up, yo, hold up. Bro, dude, bro, dude, cup to big tournament, bro. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's decent. It's getting, it's getting decent. I, I, I really do like how, uh, how we have, uh, well, some, um, repeaters, some people who keep coming after each week and we have actually a decent uh, amount of uh, players as well and to be fair okay. to be fair we do have like a pretty high level of play in our tournament as well i i'm not gonna lie yeah we do have like a darino who's been participating quite um well quite regularly to the virtual cup these, these days kohide as well mugi as well um. so yeah no definitely tiko or takarin as well no we definitely have um we definitely quite uh yeah i'm happy <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely happy. <laughs> okay, here we go with the Trovao from Kohide puts Edo Setora in the corner. Wow, Papune, merci beaucoup pour le follow. Euh, pas, pas le follow, merci beaucoup pour le raid, ça fait très très plaisir. J'ai vu ton combat contre, euh, contre Exxon hier. T es, t es, mon dieu, tu utilises combien de persos différents Tu utilises euh, Sol, tu utilises... Euh... Tu utilises May, tu utilises... Je crois que tu as utilisé Ram aussi, si je me trompe pas. Tu utilises Chip aussi. Tu utilises tout, tous les persos du cast. <rire> C'est assez impressionnant. En tout cas, merci beaucoup pour le raid, ça fait très plaisir. And here we go with the 2D uh, hit from Kofi. It takes the second match as well. Uh, oops, that was actually this one here. Gersart, il en utilise beaucoup trop pour un seul. Exactement, beaucoup trop. <rire> tu utilises beaucoup trop de personnages, monsieur. Mais bon, ceci dit, merci beaucoup pour le raid, ça fait extrêmement plaisir. Bienvenue chez les Brojo. Euh, C'est la Brojo Cop, donc un tournoi euh, hebdomadaire de Guilty Gear Strive qui se passe et se déroule au Japon. Et euh, donc voilà, hein, merci beaucoup pour euh, votre raid, ça fait très plaisir, les gars. Et les amis de Exxon sont mes amis, donc euh, merci beaucoup, les amis. <rire> 
Donc alors on est parti, uh, let's go on to the uh, third match actually, Edo-san wasn't able to take a match up until now, hopefully he is going to be able to reverse the trend and uh, put one on the board uh, basically. And here we go with Edo Sitora finding the opening very nicely done. Keeps Kokide underground thanks to his um, Dire Ekla, I believe it is. Uh, was it Dire Ekla? I, I forgot. Anyways, here we go with the Stun Dipper finds its mark. Ah bah, on a mis alors. Il m'a raconté de l'ordre derrière les Pokémon. Ah mon dieu. Ah, c'est affront. C'est un truc qu'il faudrait pas qu'il raconte par contre le bâtard. Mais bon, c'est pas grave. Je le prends, je crois. Allez, ça me. Faut que je sois humble à ce niveau-là. C'est. Euh... J'étais un petit peu en état d'ébriété, j'ai dit des trucs qu'il fallait pas que je dise en stream. Mais bon, ceci étant dit, on fait tous des, 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 euh, des bêtises et je, euh, je le reconnais. Mais bon, c'était marrant, c'était marrant. <rire> and just like this, Kofi actually manages to take the first round of this third match. You know, Sitora like failing to find his rhythm right now, unfortunately for him. Ok, here we go with Kofi, and the wall break. Ça va, c'est entre nous, je répète pas. Ça marche. Merci beaucoup, Gestal, tu, tu, tu déchires. And here we go with Kohide. Ah, pushing it. his opponent ever so slow. My lord, and getting the burst. Almost got the burst punish, but fortunately for Edo Sitora, he, uh, he resorted to using the golden burst and was me, I guess, probably. Yeah. That's, oh, that's chip, a actually. Chip player. <laughs> it's a chip player. A chip player. We go have some chip representation over here. That's something that Lancien would be very happy to see. And on to the first match, let's see Darino against Silas and an immediate 2HS counter hit in favor of Darino Silas. So you can see the life of Titus has already gone to fade ever so slightly, half of his life already over in just one iteration, quick iteration from Darino Silas. Oh my lord, and the wake up overdrive by Darino, not giving any sort of respite to Titus, but just like this Titus, oh, actually trying, oh my lord! He's going to use the schmixes. Oh, and he, oh my lord. And, oh, that was so quick. <laughs> that follow up from the DP was actually pretty tight. That was pretty nice. Very nicely done by Titus. And again, the 2 HS for the win. Very nicely done. 2 HS counter hit mid bar round start. All is well, exactly. Bye bye. Say goodbye to your health. And we go with the quick Sukiyaki from Titus. Going ham right now, trying to. Oh my lord, finding an opening and just the six. My lord, the 6P from Darwino right in the middle of the block strings of Titus. Again, the wake up DP from the oh my lord. Titus completely going ham, man. Oh, and just running and grabbing his opponent. Okay, here we go. Titus not out of it yet. He didn't quite get the follow up, but it's okay. Actually, that backdash was freaking godlike. And just like this, Titus actually manages to take one as well. Wow, it's again one round of Darino in itself is an achievement, and again the 2 HS counter hit in your face. <laughs> Poor Titus. Oh, this. Okay, here we go. Darino uh, trying to fish for a uh, burst right there. And here we go with Darino going with. Oh, and he got the correct read. And this is gonna do with the OTG. Very nicely done from Darino, man. The S. Oh, sorry, so I would make it so that her S Kabari is plus on block. Oh, that, that would probably make her yeah. like, even more broken than a uh, I don't think so. Because there would be a mind game bef between her using the HS version of Kabari and her using the S version. And you would be able to hit her out of the S version. But uh, if you decide to block and she does the HS version, you're, you're back in neutral, basically. I feel like it would be, uh, it would be, uh, it would be fair as a buff. Not too broken. Neutral at the moment. That's Kabari is zero on block. Uh, it's zero on block, right? It's zero on block yeah, right yeah. now. Yeah. Uh, I feel like it, it's dumb that it's zero block. It should be plus on block, in my opinion. Oh, boy. Defense. Defense. Mm. Uh, Table top the screen, maybe. Maybe smile for a month. Just like. <laughs> yeah. Oh, here we go. Elbow. What's it called? A quick jumping HS counter hit. And again, the 2 HS counter hit from Daruino-san. Look at the life of Chip fading away ever so slightly. And again, the 2 HS catches the back dash. Unfortunately for Daru, uh, a miss. Um, it wasn't miss, but a, a not a miss time, but uh, I'm sorry. Uh, reset. <laughs> uh, it was a reset, reset, but he tried to basically juggle his. Uh, he tried to juggle Titus with a, a fully charged dust, but I think the spacing made it so that it whipped basically. But it was pretty pretty nicely done. And just like this, hopefully we'll get the third match without any connection error. That would be really, really sweet. Hopefully it's gonna be the case. Please crossing my freaking fingers, come on. Work. Yes, we are in. Oh my lord. We're in guys. Here we go. 
I feel like every match is a 3 0, so we have as little connection errors as possible. <laughs> yeah, I know, man. I know, I know. That's so crazy. I'm so I'm so, I hate it. I really hope they'll they'll solve this problem. Anyways, yeah. that being said, Titus trying to push the sensei ever so slightly oh. in the corner, and here we go with now we're you know, trying to fish for these bursts. You can see it with the setup of you know indeed all of you guys already know it, but if you do six HS oh, counter, well, yeah. if you just do six HS into the uh, H stroke, and your opponent bursts on the six HS. Uh, Eno will low profile uh, the burst and be able to get a clean punish off of you. So you need to be careful when you see 6 HS from Eno. Uh, you know. Okay, that being said, here we go with Darino in uh, full aggression mode. Definitely wanting to end. Here we go, the March of the Emperor right there. I'm gonna call it the March of the Emperor. <laughs> and just like this, Darino takes it convincingly 3 2 nil. Very nicely. You could testify. And that being said, here we go moving on to the next battle. It's gonna be Nickel Zero against Kohide, a battle of the really titans. Probably probably uh both well definitely experts of their own characters, but probably one of the two one of the best at their own characters basically. Nickel Zero is definitely right. one of the best bots in Japan. And Kohide, like I mean Kohide literally defeated um he defeated uh TY in tournament. So I mean do, do I need to explain more? <laughs> like seriously. Alright. <laughs> and he defeated Darino in tournament as well. So, yeah, I think it's it. We can easily say that he's one of the best, if not the best, uh, Giovanna in the world. Well, yeah, in the world. I'm, I'm probably I'm, I'm gonna say it. Anyways, that being said, here we go with Kohide and the relentless assault, trying to push Nikolajiro ever so and to keep him in the uh, corner. Actually, where are Moriu? Yeah, unfortunately, Moriu is not here today. This is uh, unfortunate. I casted the set and left my hands off. <laughs> I see. Yeah, Moriu is not here today. He probably had, um, I think, probably, uh, well, he probably had uh, something to do and couldn't uh, participate to today's uh, tournament, but I'm sure we'll see him in later iterations of the Burger Cup. Loser, Sankai Sen wa, etto, shiai hajimete oke de shokka. Taiki no ho ga ii de shokka. Etto, mo shi, jibun no tonamel chat ni, etto, sono haishin no anai ga nakereba, so mama hajimete mo ito yukoto de. はじめてもいいだと思います。そうですね。はい、配信用のえっとま配信台の案内がなければそのまま始めても大丈夫です。ゆきなとさん。And uh, here we go. Uh, is there a good showing at White Black Streamman yesterday? Yeah, right. definitely. So よろしくお願いします。ゆきなとさん。Okay, here we go, just like this. Oh my lord, both opponents holding on to their burst, and just like this, the Mega Fist for the win. And because you did definitely relieved from taking it very nicely done. And here we go on to the next battle. The one who takes this one takes it all. So, what is going to do? Very nice uh, dash into combo from Kohide, pushed Nikojiru in the corner, and just like this, Kohide. Definitely realizing that um, Nikoju is very, very, uh, yeah, <laughs> he definitely loves to use the uh, slider head. <laughs> He's been using it a lot during this tournament. And just, oh my lord, and that call out on the burst! This is gonna hurt so much! Oh, 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 you, oh you're in Garuda stench, you're dead! Oh, and here we go! He almost got it! No! No! Oh boy, lord! And the air to air, the, the, the jumping P! Who used the jumping P with freaking. With freaking Potemkin, man. Oh my lord. Oh, that was crazy good. Very, very nicely done. Okay, and just like this, uh, we are. Well, the first match goes to Znikojilu. That was extremely strong. As you can see, both characters are rocking a freaking red aura right there. That is just a testament as how much both players are uh, committed to, like, staying on top of their game each and every month. With Kohide level 7,100 and whatnot. It's crazy when you. Yeah, 7,000, man. It's crazy. <laughs> I'm only at 3,000. I think I play a lot, you know? <laughs> Okay, here we go. Garuda and Pacto Hill right there. You have to hold it. Okay, here we go with Nikojiro again using... Yeah, um... Kohide is at level 7,143, I think. And, uh, Nikojiro is like 4,000-something. Yeah. So, yeah, definitely both both players definitely, like, rocking and playing a lot. Yeah, this is definitely, like, it's an understatement, I think. Okay, here we go. But then again, I think that uh, Darurino also is at 7,000 as well, I think. Yeah, I think so. 
Yeah, it's really crazy, man. Yeah, people who are playing this game are really playing this game. Like, seriously. <laughs> oh, it makes me feel like I have a... Yeah, but I think it's possible. That, but it's yeah, it's damn man. It's you, you must be playing this every right. single day. I think for it to to reach such a level, which is uh, commendable by itself. But it's just I, I I admire the motivation of these players. Like seriously, I don't think I would be able to do so. I'm at level three thousand, and even I think I'd play too much. But that being said, here we go with Koshide finding the uh, flip kick, the cross up into the flip kick, very nicely done. Just like this puts one on the board as well. As expected from both players, we have a very tight match right now. One round, well, one match piece actually. This is very, 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 a very nice match. Okay, let's see how this goes. Yeah, you, you'll be able to see uh, their levels here. Yeah. With, uh, I think one of them Ah, damn it, my, my logo is in front of Kohi that you can see it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Chief's yeah. Garden, thank you for the VIP uh, badge. I am going to give it to you momentarily. Give me just a couple of seconds. Uh, how do we do this? Uh, I'll, I'll let you commentate in between. Yo, Kohi, that was went for the uh, combo. That was sick. Um, one thing, I don't or really keeping up with how G M One has kind of evolved through through the um, how do I say through the build to get stride. Um, you'll see Kohide or a lot of really good Giovanna players. Not only Giovanna's game plan is to kind of develop something close back, but but damn hold on, I think yeah. But generally, you'll see um, uh, a lot of good Giovanna players using a lot more of their like smaller, faster normals, like the five D yeah. or like a five can get into a tick throw. So yeah. the uh, tick for a game has changed a lot uh, for Giovanna players and it's become a lot stronger yeah. um, recently. And uh, you can see a good sign of a good Giovanna player is someone who's using their like P normals yeah. well in effective way. And damn this PRC and damn this is too much. Has My lord. <laughs> and, uh, Giovanna has got good um, options or good responses to as well, like Mega Fist, uh, back Mega Fist in the corner as well. Which yeah. uh, really really helps you run this matchup. But slide head. Slide, slide head and then Yeah, the slide, slide head is definitely posing a problem for him. I can feel it. Oh, um I think one really strong option, but I don't know if I'm not saying a player, but whenever I did say Giovanni, I think I was just gonna kill. OTG? No. Ah! Oh my lord. <laughs> but it has your chinny chin chin, yo. Damn, Akime was a 80,000 redeem. Yo, I understand that mug. Oh my lord. <laughs> Akimi, he got the mug. <laughs> okay, Akimi, uh, on va se, je te contactera après uh, pour qu'on pour qu'on organise tout ça. Thank you, Akimi, for the mug. Really, really appreciate that. I'll, uh, yeah, yeah just. Here, Oh, bonjour, sorry. Ah, parfait. Akemi, envoie-moi juste ton adresse encore euh, en MP sur Discord et puis je, je t'enverrai euh, un mug, ça marche. Merci beaucoup hein, pour, le, euh, pour les 80 000, oh mon dieu. The Pro Joe Mug is out! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> thanks for the gift of sub. Yeah, and thanks for the sub, the gift uh, sub you, give, uh, you gave the other day, Akemi, really appreciate it. Après le tapis souris, le bonjour mug, tu vas te faire toute la. Tu vas te faire toutes les. Euh... <laughs> Tu vas te faire toutes les, euh, toutes les récompenses. <laughs> Ça fait plaisir. Both players are actually... They are, man. They are, but I told you, man. They're they're the best users of their characters currently, I think. Well, one of the best, at least. Like, they're probably on par... Like, Nekojido is on par with FAB, and um, Kohida is definitely on par with TY currently. So, yeah. Definitely. They're both, like, character experts, and they're just extremely well-gifted well players and very good players overall. Okay, that being said, here we go on to the next battle. Okay, will Nekojido be able to bring it back if he do, if he loses this one? He is sent to the loser's bracket. Okay, here we go. Oh my lord. Soon partner? So Twitch? Nah, not yet, not yet. I still... To be partner, I need to have like 75 uh, viewers at all time. And uh, yeah. the only time I actually go over like 10 viewers is when I host the Brojo Cup. And it needs to be on all of your like all of your streams in a month. So yeah, it's it's probably not for now. But it's okay, I'm still having fun just doing the project up in yeah. 
Okay, here we go with the uh, grab from Kohide. And he's gonna take it actually on match point this time around. Kohide is. Oh my lord, that was a quick first round. Nikoji is struggling to find his space right there, trying to contain Kohide. But then again, it's hard to contain Kohide. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh my lord, and the optimized combo right there. Oh my lord, it's gonna do a lot of damage. Here we go into the wall break. The hard knockdown from Kohide. Very nicely done. Oh, and just letting it rip, man. Oh, he's gonna get the optimized combo. Look at the damage. Okay, here we go. Kohide not biting. Staying extreme. Oh, and that whip, Nasante. This is not gonna go unpunished. Wake up. Okay, here we go. Very nicely done by Nakajiro. He was extremely patient. Ah, uh, yeah. And Nakajiro holding on to his. Holding on to his. Oh, my lord, he got him! Petit through Otaku qui regarde ses coups. Ça a bien joué un peu, comment vas-tu, mec? Here we go with Nikojiro immediately making a comeback. Is he going to be able to sustain this momentum or is Kohide going to rob it from him? Oh, here we go. Unpunished right there again, the jump in. Very nice uh, dash into the grab again by Kohide, trying to open Nikojiro with every single tool that he has. Oh my lord, here we go. Nikojiro fighting for his life in the corner. Doesn't want to be opened up for obvious reason. The Nasante juggle. For the opening, oh my lord, here we go, Nikoji with two bars of tension. This is something you do not want to have to face. I oh no! And the bait <laughs> of the YRC, and just like this, Kokid actually takes it. 3, 2, 1, very nice. Again, moving on to the I next match. I I personally think it's in favor of Nagoriyuki, but... Darino is not your normal Eno, so it doesn't really apply to him. <laughs> so we'll be seeing how it goes. But I think the matchup is definitely in favor of Mago Yuki, yeah, personally. Okay, and here we go with the onslaught from Darino right away. Finds the opening with the grab. And here we go with the double overhead from Daru. Finds the opening, will break the wall. Uh, unfortunately for Zeech, he used the follow-up of the DP. is going to make his... Let, oh my lord, and the conversion from Darwino and with a strong first round from Darwino takes the perfect extremely convincingly. Okay, here we go with Darwino remaining a little bit patient, but not so much that is. Terminé! <laughs> Do you know 2k HCL was a thing? Uh, it is, it is. It actually is. And here we go. Oh my lord. The conversion is real. He's gonna get the wall break. And Zeet already with uh, his uh, blood gauge filling up a bit. Oh, okay. He found the opening. Darino finally forced to DP. Not DP. To burst. Oh my lord. And the hover. The hover Matsuri. The hover festival right there from Darino. Finally found it smart. He takes the first. Uh, the first round quite convincingly. I mean, 2S. Sorry. Uh, to us, I think. Well, I think it depends. Oh, it depends on whether the opponent is uh, standing or not. Was it a juggle though? If it's a juggle, then uh, it's definitely possible. Definitely possible. <clears throat> if it's on the ground, then the opponent just needs to be standing. Then it's definitely gonna work. And here we go. Yeah, juggle. Yeah, it definitely works. Okay, on to the next battle. Zeech definitely needs to find some sort of adjustment right now. But as you can see, Darino definitely patient, man. And however. Darino Sun is definitely quick to burst. But yeah, not committing too much. Just Darino Sun, as you can see, is uh, first resorting to using the note, then making sure that it hits his opponent and then moves in for the kill. This is. Oh, and here we go. The double Fukio from Zijin to the command grab. Fortunately for him, probably mistimed his uh, media and got grabbed out of his offense due to it. Here we go with Darino and his unending. Ah, his unending pressure, man. Unfortunately for Zeech, couldn't quite enter him. And just like this, Ari, you know, just... Yeah, out for blood, as you can see. Just one more opening for the win. And here we go, the double... The double over for the win. Really, really well done from Ari, you know, Takes the second round as well. How is Zeech going to... Oh, and here we go with Zeech and the standing S to catch the bag dash of Ari, you know, Very nicely done. I didn't know it, even you could... Uh, catch people with this oh my lord and the beyblade into the uh, close s for the anti-air and darino finally 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 got defeated one round took uh taken by z very nicely done okay, is darino going to oh okay mixing up his approach 
And here we go with Darino got his opponent right where he wants him. He's going to benefit from a positive bonus. Oh my lord, the 2S catches actually the Beyblade on its way out. This is extremely surprising. I would have thought they would just go over it, to be quite honest. Here we go with Darino smelling blood. And this should do. Yeah. Oh my lord. <laughs> Roman cancel into the command grab by Darino. And just like this, he takes the round. Very nicely done. Okay, he puts another one on the board. This is 2 2 0 4 Darino. That was pretty crazy, man. That confirmed, man. As expected from the Eno. <laughs> That was crazy good. Very, very well played. Okay, and uh, just like this, we are going to move on to uh, the next battle. I, I think I was called to move for that. No, we're good. Okay. So, moving on to the next potential final uh, match of this encounter. We did it. We weren't affected by a connection error. I am so happy. <laughs> and here we go with the two. P, no, to be the 6P from Zeech to hit Darino out of his over. Okay, here we go, mix up time. Darino resorts to using the grab. Sometimes the best mix is the no mix. Another grab from Darino, making his way ever so slightly in the corner. Zeech still holding on to his burst, refuses to let go of him, of it. Okay, here we go with all oh my lord, the schmix is the layer of schmixes is just out of this world. But Zeech finds the opening with the clone and... Okay, I think that Darino read a Fukio from Zeech. Badly timed hover by Darino, unfortunately got grabbed out of his uh, onslaught. Here we go again using the note to try to pin Zeech down before making his way towards him. This time around reads correctly that Zeech went to the air, took to the air. Oh, and this should do. Very nicely done. Zeech catches the bag dash from Darino and... Uh, well, seals the deal, basically. How uh, is this other, the second round going to pan out? So far, Darino finds the opening. Read the attempt of Zeech to use Beyblade. Oh, he's going to benefit from the positive bonus. And the big DP from Zeech. Unfortunately, couldn't juggle correctly. Gets hit by the overdrive from Darino on his way down. On his, uh, on his, um, yeah, his mistimed up. Uh, oh, this is, oh, you yeah, you have to hold this. Oh, and again, the cheeky command grab attempt from Zeej. Okay, Zeej, this is the match point. If you do not take this match, you are going to the loser's final. The loser's uh, bracket, actually. Okay, here we go, Zeej, trying to make his way. They're trying to open Darino and finally find something. This is going to do a lot of damage, actually. Here we go with the overdrive. Is this... Oh, this is going to be enough, actually. This is definitely going to be enough. Zeej takes it from the skin of his teeth with a perfect, very well done, finally showing signs of life. Very nicely done by Zeej, takes it very, very convincingly this time around. My lord opened him twice and killed <laughs> He killed it. The schmixes, yeah, exactly. Very nicely done by Zeej. Definitely looking alive. Okay, 2-2-1. Two, two, Is Zeej going to be able to put another one in order to, uh, well, um, basically have a match, you know, <laughs> just have two matches apiece. We shall see in a couple of seconds. Okay, here we go with Ah, uh, Darino finding the opening again with the magical 2HS counter hit. Okay, here we go with Darino. Oh my lord, and just resorting to using the command grab on Zeej's wake up. Very nicely done. He's gonna do a lot of damage. One of the most damaging super in this game, but thankfully for Zeej, he uses Nago Yuki, who has a lot of... Uh, one of the biggest health pull, combined with one of the best... Um, the best... Uh, what's it called? Uh, the best... Uh, brave? How do you call it? Damn it, it's not Brave. The best... Damn it, how do you call it? <laughs> the best Brave? It's not Brave, but anyways, that being said... How do you call it? I couldn't hear you. Guts, Guts, okay. Here, we got it, okay, Guts, yeah. <laughs> the best brave. What the hell is brave? <laughs> the best brave. <laughs> brave. I feel stupid. But anyways, you, you see, brave. exactly. You want to be brave. brave. You want to have guts. <laughs> <laughs> anyways, that being said, uh, Zeej on the verge of uh, losing it. Actually, is he going to be able to make a magical comeback? This is definitely not out of the realm of possibility. A little bit too far to get the six HS to actually. Ah, again. There are no reading. Oh, the jump, and this should actually do. This is gonna do. 
very well played by Darino takes it very convincingly with a sick combo. I love Bridge and Cookie as you already probably figured it out. And my lord, Mugi, wait, 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 wait. Did I read this correctly? Ah, I think they. Okay, yeah, they are. Yeah. They didn't respect. They didn't respect the order. Ah, uh, wait one second. I need to uh, change your names. Okay, hold my points, bro. Oh, wait, what? Oh, shit. Oh. Uh, I think we have the disconnection. Yeah, yeah we no, no, definitely I have the disconnection. They're, they're, I think they heard what you're saying. And oh, no, no. Oh, my. Yeah. My, my, yeah. <laughs> my, my, it's okay, okay. Maybe they did. If they did, in which case, we'll have to... I uh, will have to... Like to it, it's not yeah. that big of a deal, but... Ma, it's not that big of a deal, but... Ma, it, if, if they do it, so then... Let's do it so <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. Ah, I, I should have I, I should have shut up, <laughs> but it's okay. Sorry, just say. Can can I body block? Block block block. Yeah. What are you doing? Block block. Six B. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Zero to zero. It's okay. Okay, they should do. <laughs> sorry, I should I should have I should have not said anything. I'm sorry. <laughs> いや、で、そうですね。なるべく、えっと、順番をえっと、ま、守っていただければと思います。すいません。なので、悲しばりさんは左側で、で、麦さんは、えっと、右側に着席をお願いいたします。で、セパスをプリーズ、え、リスペク
I, I played like Viking for a bit and I could definitely say that the matchup is not in favor of a Viking. This one is definitely not. And here we go with Kanashibari finally finding the way out of the corner, but oh, just like this. Not like this. Oh, again, but making oh. a good use of the Kabari to actually punish the two HS attempts from Mugi. This is very nicely done and the badly timed burst right there. This is unfortunate. Uh, here we go with the clones and the wall break for the kill. Very nicely done by Mugi. Takes it to, to zero. Okay, Kanashibari still has like one more chance to bring it back. One more chance. Oh, by him. There's definitely like a direct relationship between how good a character 6P is and how difficult the matchup is. Yeah. Oh, um, there is. Yeah, there's definitely a correlation between these two. Yeah. I can definitely feel it. Who, who else has got really good 6P? Like, Rami oh. for 6P Estimate? Good. Kai? Estimate, yeah. Uh, Kai. What's her name? Uh, Zato has a crazy 6P. Uh, uh, Evil has a very good 6P as well. And if you're good at using them, and I think Nago is just one of those characters who doesn't necessarily always use 6p to anti-air. Yeah. Um, oh, you can definitely so use 6p right really in the neutral, yeah. You can definitely just Sorry. throw it out. The slap. <laughs> the slap. The dishonorable slap. The dis dishonorable slap. I'm gonna slap you. <laughs> Anyways, that being said, finally Kanashibari finding stuff. Oh, almost opened him. Oh, and the Kabari follow up getting hit by the downfall from Mugi. Oh, the fall down, not the downfall. Uh, and sure, we got the two HS counter. This is gonna do a lot of damage. Yeah. Ooh, exactly. You always say ooh when you get hit by the two HS counter. Yeah, that's. Right. It's just like you have to. It's. Ooh, okay, here we go. Kanashibori making his um his throw attempt safe. Okay, this should do actually. If he doesn't drop hmm. the corner. Oh no, he dropped the cover. No. Why? Why? This is unfortunate. This is unfortunate. Yeah, unfortunate yeah. for Kanashibari. Probably the nurse getting yeah, to him, I suppose. Nah, it's oh, this a, is... I think it's a, it's a quite combo, combo route, but yeah. I think if you miss one of the links in the chain, the uh, second JD misses, so you have to lose your gun then. You should have worked with the, uh, the the jumping peep, probably, I suppose. The, the, the series uh, of jumping peep instead. You would have gotten the, the wall break and then the, yeah. The kill. Yeah, sometimes you need to not be too greedy and just go with the easy stuff to be sure that you kill. My lord, what was that? <laughs> It'd be raining like uh, the, the Nagoriki's in there. <laughs> that was, oh my lord. Oh, and the quick Fun. kill. Z against Yukinato. And Yukinato actually resorting to using hot. Okay, this is surprising. Well, he proved me wrong. Yeah. And I'm just gonna. <laughs> Really, real oh, quick. Oh, here we go. Solve the oh, not lot better name. <laughs> yeah, here you go. I, I got it. I, I noticed it right away. Yeah. <laughs> My name. Okay, and a pretty bad start of the the round by Yukinato right there. Immediately getting wall broken. Oh, very nice far S right there from Yukinato. Oh, and the slider head. Oh, blocked by Z, but still too late to do anything about it. Oh, the far. Ah, this. Oh, this almost kill actually. Very nice far. HS counter hit and just like this, the MT jump, uh, the MT low for the win by Zeej. Takes the first round. Let's see how this pans out. Again, the uh, slider head <laughs> seems to be a theme today. <laughs> Speaking of which, and again, the slider head. <laughs> here we go with the. And it works. Bro. Yeah, as long as it works, yeah. you should do it. Yeah, definitely. And here we go. You are in the Garuda Impact Hill. You have to take it. You don't have any other choices. And here we go, the quick dust. Uh, Roman cancel into the wall break really well done. Bye! You get out to get swooped off though by the, uh, the, 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 the DP. And here we go. You are this time around in the... In jail. Oh my oh, lord. And the slider in. Oh my lord. That yeah. was really good. Very well played by you. A good choice, like, um... Ah, you mean the slider head tanking uh, attack yeah, like, yeah. with the armor? Yeah, that's actually, yeah. Now that you think about it, it... To commit to using blood to really yeah. kind of stop that. Like yeah. If you haven't got blood, you know, mm. there, it becomes a lot more high risk trying to like yeah. challenge a lot of these kind of that makes buttons. sense, that makes sense. And also, I, I said um, chip, but I, I thought about chip mostly for his zoning capabilities, but I, I forgot that... <laughs> I forgot that Zeet, not Zeet, I forgot that Nago <laughs> has uh, uh, a well, a move that completely nullifies uh, zoning <laughs> in this game, which is the clone. So yeah, it's, it's actually, it makes sense that Yukinato would want to use a pot instead of a of chip. It does make sense. But yeah, Zeej needs to be careful. His blood gauge is almost there. He was saved by the bell, man. 
Oh. Ah, uh, and here we go with. And to make a fist. Oh, and gets hit by the standing. P the slap. The slap in one match for Zeej. Very, very nicely done. Very nice patience also from him. But yeah, there's only so much uh, Pot can do in this uh, matchup, I feel so. Let's see if uh, Yukinato will stick with. Ah, maybe he. Uh, I can. I oh, can see if he stuff. changed. Ah, no, he's, he's sticking oh, with yeah. uh, with um, Pot. Okay, I'm gonna go real quick to the bathroom. If you could uh, follow up with the comments, yeah, that would be really great. One hundred percent, bro. No problem. Thanks, bro. man. Perfect. Okay, time for some. Uh, yeah, one commentary. We got we got big ass tank in. We got his uh, the red one. Look at that, super forward, he's slapping the man, he's progressing, swinging, building up that blood gauge, we slide head and down, and yo, you think, you think that Naga's probably chop is strong, you know, the tank is like, is it 5HF, five, five he's like, full swing slap, and positive bonus, what's the shinich, yo, know, we've got Mia building up, positive bonus, oh, nice SDF for slide head, and even with the Piazia, like I say, having to spend the, the blood meter to get the second hit to cancel the super armor, but was enough to touch out the round. Yeah, you know, these are doing good start in the um, second set. Um, first round, let's see if he can give some momentum for a second set. Yep, gets a full combo. So it's going to help bring down the blood gauge. Oh, yeah, my prediction did help. The game matchup uh, is a uh, fine for Mark. Oh, again, Ooh, and, the uh, and that and command side. grab for the, the win by Zeej. A cheeky, cheeky, cheeky Zeej. Bad Zeej. Bad Zeej. <laughs> Bad Zeej. <Bad Zeep. laughs> oh, my lord. Here we go. And yeah, just like this, Zeej takes it to, to zero. And well, it's still not over till it's over. You can tell Sun still has one more chance to try to make a comeback. Still sticking with Potemkin. Let's see if this pans out. If he finds some sort of, you know, way to reverse the momentum. But for now, it's basically going entirely in favor of... Of, um... The... Definitely. Yeah, definitely. Uh... Uh... Bye. Yeah, and again, he just looks like when he's finding his open, he's just going completely ham, like yeah. not giving um, him any chance to like get his momentum back or to like get his right head off. Yeah. He noticed that right heading a lot. Yeah. And his, um, like I said, he's, he's happy to spend the blood here to yeah. get extra hair and look at it. We are probably and... one more round to go, maybe if we keep up this pace. <laughs> yeah, maybe Yukinato san is gonna find yeah some sort of way to reverse the the, the moment, but right now it's entirely in favor of Zeej, man. It's crazy and I just think it's, yeah. Oh, it's crazy. Right? Like, it's not on hot. It's on hot as well, right? Yeah. Why is that? It's probably something that you know. Oh my um, lord! And the bait. Ooh. That was really, really well played. Oh, and the wake up overdrive by Z is definitely not <laughs> wanting to deal with any sort of, of pressure on wake up. And feels like battle of two huge bodies. This is probably because it is Chief's Guard. This is definitely <laughs> a huge body. Ah, matchup and just like this, Z takes it. 3 to Neil. It's an application that basically uses your uh, camera and puts like filters upon on them. And they can be triggered by... Uh, by macros, so I just search which uh, effects were fun, and I just implemented them to uh, to the stream. <laughs> that's about it. Damn, that's yeah. also much more innocent. That's a very innocent arm for. <laughs> <laughs> and that being said, here we go with the start of the match with Nikoji immediately already finding opening, and oh my lord, how did he read this? How did he read the, the command grab? And here, the read... Oh my lord, they, they're reading each other so freaking effectively. And Mugi finding the opening. This is going to be a lot of damage, unfortunately, for him. He was a little bit too far to get the connection. And... Oh, what the hell happened with the side switch? <laughs> oh, and the... Oh, the conversion was sick! Look at this damage! Oh! Yeah, it's, okay. oh. it's not going to kill. But... Oh, and the wake up... 
Overdrive is gonna hit. Yeah, he's gonna get the follow up as well. Oh, he couldn't oh, get it quick enough. What happened? This is scrambles, bro. Scrambles. Wait. Yeah, that was scramble upon scramble upon scramble. But I thought that you could actually get the follow up if uh, you did the uh, overdrive of Nagoyuki, mm. even if you're far, and you could still pick your opponent up. Or maybe it's because uh, Pot is too heavy, and therefore he cannot bounce correctly, accurately off of the ground. I guess I I, I don't really know. I think it was Anyways, just, um, I think you may have slipped up because I think you have to do like a HF move. Yeah. Have HF but to adjust. I think you're gonna get one extra hit after the hit two plus. Yeah. Yeah, no problem. Um, and whatever button you hit, um, there's like I think a soft knockdown. Yeah. yeah. And the uh, the mashing of the other one. <laughs> that makes sense. Makes sense. Makes sense. And just like this, Moogie bringing it ever so slightly back. Ah, uh, the wake up overdrive, and here we go, you're in Schmick City, you're in Garuda City. Ah, uh, uh, but yeah, careful, Moogie has bars, and the grab, what happened? What happened uh, here? Grab is always taken. Exactly. Grab looks, it is, it's like <laughs> slam you into the ground. Yeah, slam you, <laughs> exactly. The, the pot slam, man. But yeah, the uh, first round, not first round, first match goes to uh, Nikojito extremely convincingly, by the way. This, uh, this is looking to be yet another pot against Nagoriyuki for the semifinals of Losers Racket. But here we go, we never know, we'll see, we'll see. Fracas <laughs> se fricasse. Okay, here we go with Mugi. Okay, pushing Nikojito in the corner and the uh, back mega fist for the save. Okay, Nikojito remaining extremely patient, using sometimes the mega fist to try to uh, get out of pressure, and it's actually working extremely in his favor right now. Let's see how it pans out. And a slide hit. Oh, almost find it. Smart. This is unfortunate for him. Okay, here we go again, the big gift fist, oh my lord, very nicely found, and the conversion from Nekojiru, man, this is crazy, oh, and here to wear in favor of Nekojiru, and he takes it with the mega fist on the ground, really well played, how is this going to pan out, is Mugi going to find some sort of adjustment, ah, uh, here we go, ah, uh, Nekojiru just standing, remaining strong, just content with just blocking it's just great oh finally Mugi finds the opening with the command grab he will be able to go out he's gonna be able to oh my god the back dash on the dp was crazy good oh there we go Mugi finds the opening yeah, this should do is this gonna do actually don't know oh i think it's okay yeah, he's gonna kill he's gonna kill he's definitely gonna kill he's gonna kill nice well played by Mugi, finally takes one round. Oh, and the side of your head, nope. Too slow. <laughs> <laughs> Too slow. Uh, oh my lord, and he read yet again the attempt of Mugi to command grab him, man. He's been on point with his reads, man. And again, the air to air in favor of Nekojiro. Uh, just El oh, Fukio underneath the Mega Fist was able to get the well, the, the, um, the, the punish and force Nikojiro to commit to uh, burst. Oh, and the big 2 HS counter hit. This is gonna do a lot of damage. This is death, actually. Yeah, this is death. Very nicely done by Mugi. Takes yeah, well the round. Yeah. And puts one match on the board as well. It's one match apiece. We have a match, incidentally. My lord, this is really, really, really tight. Let's see how it goes. How do you like it, like, uh... Watching some Guilty Gear Strive while listening to a remix of uh, Vega's theme. This is this is something else. <laughs> well, well, for me, I'm, 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 I'm listening on the Discord, so all ah, I you are. Sound of your singing, ah, this is unfortunate. So that's, that's, that's this is unfortunate. You can only hear my voice. You can only <laughs> hear my reenactment. My very bad yeah, reenactment like, of, <laughs> of Vega. Like, oh like, my lord. Guilty Gear oh. Karaoke. <laughs> exactly, I should this should be a thing. Okay, oh okay, he got the juggle this time around and he's going to get the wall break. Oh 
and the 2 HS finds its mark. Well, in block at least. And here we go, Mugi almost was able to open him up, but unfortunately for him, Mugi just just hits and prevents Nico Jilu from actually armoring through uh, his. I, I wouldn't call it Rekka, but his uh, yeah, his three. His uh, how would I call this? His um, Gatling. It's not even a Gatling, Gatling in the end. Yeah. This combo, I guess. His block string. Let's say his block string thing. And here we go, finally, Nikolaj finding the the opening with a command grab. And here we go, you are stuck in the corner. Oh my lord, and Mugi just trying to get out of it by backdashing. But no, sir, you're only going to add up. Oh no. And yeah, the field attempt to command grab, please. man. And Mugi using a lot of his standing P to prevent Nikolaj from that backdashing off out of his pressure right here. And here we go, Mugi definitely, ah, definitely out for blood and the bad mega fist. Oh, and deep crap for the win, that was crazy. Thank you very much for the follow, Bara, and thank you very much for the follow, pure, for the, for the rest, for the east. <laughs> and welcome <laughs> to the bro <laughs> Here we go with the grab from Nikojiru. He's got Mugi exactly where he wants, and Mugi is in the Garuda impact tool. Uh, what are you gonna do? Ah, oh, you did. <laughs> yeah. You did. And the perfect. That was actually very brutal from Nicolas who manages to bring it back. Actually, he takes the lead thanks to it. Two to one. And um, this is definitely panning out and looking out to, to be yet again another pot against Takoriyuki for the loser semifinal. Not that I dislike the matchup, not at all. I'm actually pretty. I'm, I'm actually looking forward to how this is going to play uh, since we had like. The three last matches we had was fought. Well, the two last matches we had was fought against Nagoyuki. So this is gonna be the sum of uh, of it all. Anyways, here we go. Okay, Nikoshiro definitely a little bit more uh, restrained when it comes to using the slider head, as I can see right now. And the far S counter it definitely found its mark. Okay, Mugi trying to probably attest this situation. Definitely not as eager as before to try to force his way in. Oh, here we go, the Mega Fist finds its mark, and unfortunately for Mugi, he was blocking while in the air, so it made it so that uh, the Mega Fist was actually plus on block. This is unfortunate for him, but Mugi finds the opening, finally gets a command grab in, oh, and the Mega Fist for the... Nope, not quite the win. Okay, you can see Nikoji here. He tried to oh. fish for a. Yeah, this is dead. What? Oh. What? The clash? The clash on the overdraft. That was actually pretty, pretty crazy. Well done by Nikoji not to get flustered by it and uh, just immediately resorting to. Uh, yeah, to collect himself and uh, find the killing blow. Really well done. We are, we are Dude, on match point right have there. Surely, surely. Yeah. Yeah, surely, surely. <laughs> wink, wink. <laughs> and here we go with Nico Gilles, man, yet again in the corner, forced to block, but finds the opening with the grab, but then again forces the burst from Mugi Mugi on his last legs, but definitely has a, a health, well, I'm saying this right now, but he had, <laughs> yeah, he had, he had a, health, he had a health lead, but not anymore, okay, too far for the Garuda and Paxo, unfortunately, but the Mega Fist yeah, for the save and oh, and the slider hit that was free great. Oh, and no anti air there. Why? Why is there no anti air right here, Nikoji? Oh, and the hammer fall, unfortunately for him, Mugi. Yeah, and yeah, the chip kill. Yep, as you all know, Nago, unfortunately, well, fortunately for Nago players, have chip damage on every single one of their normals <laughs> just perfectly normal oh there we go with the mega fist the bad mega fist and of course if you block the bad mega fist you have to not hit any button afterwards because it is plus on block <gasps> oh my lord <laughs> that first read and bait out <laughs> that might be that might be something that you want to see. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that that might be extremely not uh, not comfortable for any of us. Not for you, not for me. Okay, and here we go with the third uh, back to back pot versus Nago Yuki matchup right now. Oh, and my lord, the tick man throw right there from Zeej. Uh, from from Nikoshiro. I'm sorry, Zeej is not playing pot. 
Oh, here we go with the fort. Yes, counter hit. And still no burst from Zeke, man. He's holding on to it, man. But probably at this point of the match, he's probably going to die with his burst. Yeah. That would be kind of... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he, he was definitely going to die with it. Okay, well, a uh, very nice and convincing first uh, round from Nikozira. Here we go with Zeke and the conversion. He's going to get... No, he also, also almost got the... Well, break, but not quite. Oh, and the slider head. Nope, sir. No, oh, and the emergency Roman cancel right there to nullify the uh, armor break. Oh, and very nice. Oh. <gasps> oh, my lord. That was. Oh, that's what he was wanting. Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. <laughs> the awareness of this man. Oh, my lord. That's the reason why he was so. He was so close to his, to Zeke when he saw that his um he was about to blood burst right there the blood rage i'm sorry what is blood damn burst? it's like minor. blood rage blood rage it's, no i know blood burst sorry i know blood burst sorry yeah <laughs> on block yeah what is that block uh, on block is minus minus three i think uh, minus, minus uh no no it's probably minus five or six i think actually since i can i can punish it with my my 2k and my 2k is like my, is like six frame startup i think so it's probably mm, minus it's seven nice. minus six yeah let me check real quick i'll, I'll check it oh yeah uh, that's actually okay. a very good question mm, so, it, so i think off the wall is oh no. right, right, blood rage is minus seven. seven actually yeah minus seven on block mm. so yeah plenty of time to do pot, uh, potemkin's uh command command grab Okay, so yeah, he, yeah, well, Nikojiru aware of it. Oh my lord, here we go with the emergency Roman cancel right there. Oh, and the very nice jump in from Zeke finds its mark. Okay, no, Mega Fist right here. Oh, and the wake up overdrive, of course. Nice. Sometimes you just need to let it rip. And just like this, Zeke puts one round on the board. Still needs another one in order to, uh, to take this match. Oh, and the just blocks from Nikojiri, man. Did you see this? Ah. That's clear. Oh, my lord, and wake up. Yeah, unfortunately for Nikojiri, he probably mistimed his median because of the Z, he was able to grab him out of his uh, block string. Ah, the slider head, yep, not finding his mark. Ah, here we go. No, you cannot. But yeah, sometimes it might just be better to take the uh, Gowardo Impact on a, a, a backdash. At least you, you're not pinned on uh, in place and you're not forced into like a blocking um, blocking festival by, uh, by Nikoji. Very nice entire from Nikoji. Got Zij exactly where he wants him. Here we go. But Zij not think his last word. Oh, and the block. Oh, no, why are Oh, that was no different, you know? Oh, and finally, Zeej finding the opening and takes this <laughs> first. Exactly, one round apiece, man. We have a match. Okay, Zeej showing signs of life. Definitely not going down without a fight. Very nicely done. I'm surprised um, both, both um, Nagarukis haven't used JF so much. Um, yeah, they haven't, man. They haven't, indeed. Normally, a good tool for like catching things like slide head, where you want to be progressive and in the air. Um, Agreed. Again, maybe they're worried about the knuckle or six B. I'm not sure. Um, it's, it's possible. But all I, I know is every time I try and like a uh, <laughs> try and fight a uh, Nagaruki, they always get me in the face. So, uh, oh, there we go. <laughs> Finally got it. <laughs> Finally was able to get it. Oh, and here we go with Zeej and the cheeky bag dashes on the meaties of Nikojiru, man. And it's actually working quite well in his favor. But look at all of these just defend from Nikojiru, man. Ah, uh, so crazy. Oh, and again the cheeky Roman cancel into the uh, command grab by Nikojiru has definitely been working in his favor. Here we go with Zeej down one round. Is he going to be able to bring it back? Okay, because you're pressing some buttons or attempting to probably <laughs> jump back. Ah, very nice reads from Nikoji to catching the 
uh, the uh, Beyblade with the sliding head. <laughs> Man, special moves need recovery in this game for real, right? Yeah. Slide head and instant slide head and instant slide head. How does that even work? Where's the recovery? Of course. <laughs> he needs it. <laughs> well, he, he does need it though, to be fair, because. Oh, yeah. But yeah, but Mkin doesn't really have any way to pin you down. Right. And if you're super slippery, it's really hard for him to... Uh... But he does have the Mega Fizz though, who is freaking impossible to entire. But, uh... but yeah, Ma, I think it's still... Yeah, it's still fair, I think, that he has the answer. It, it doesn't even mm. deal damage if you think about it, so... That's true. Mm. It just deals emotional damage. It's just so annoying. Like, I, I still got hit. It's just extremely it's annoying, yeah. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Finally, Nikoji to force the burst. And Zij in lead when it comes to having the burst, that is. Ooh, almost got hit yet again. That was crazy clutch, Zij. I, I'm sure he, like, he, he jumped off of his chair when he managed to actually not get hit by this. Okay, here we go. You have to watch out. Oh, and... Okay, Zij forced the burst. Out. Oh, and the Mega Fist was a kill. Nikoji takes the third match. Okay, ever so slightly making his way to the win. What is Zed going to do? Zed, what are you gonna do? Tell us. Tell us right now. Character <laughs> change? Character <laughs> change? With who, who does Zed play uh, uh, apart from Nagori? He doesn't play anybody else. I don't know. Mega Fish, like, um, He does? In KOF, I think, no. Oh, yeah. But in KOF, some, it doesn't some count. Some Lost Ark, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> okay. He's gonna, he's gonna implement a DLC. A guest character. <laughs> Like okay, here we go with Azid already forced to burst, but it's okay. At least found the opening. Forced Nikoji in the corner and with the very nice confirms. Finally gets the wall break. But yeah, Nikoji just gracefully making his way into the air and finding the opening. And here we go with Zid shading Nikoji out of the air this time around. Oh, and. Oh, that was a really quick round. Zij definitely extremely aggressive this time around. Takes the first round. Is he gonna be able to take the second one? Find a wake up. Come and grab. <laughs> Here we go. Ah, the Mega Fist. Oh, you're staying there. Is he dead? He's dead. Yeah. Oh my lord. Out yeah. of conversion with a perfect right back at you. And just like this, we're on match point. Zij absolutely needs to bring this one. <gasps> Ooh, and the Fukio back Fukio into uh, hit and smell my sword. <laughs> so oh my lord. Oh, get a whiff of my sword. It really feels like he's saying this, you know. Uh, smell my sword. Smell my sword. Oh my lord. Oh, the fire beat the challenge and it's Ah, and the, rep the repetitive just... Ah, oh, the repetitive slider head from Nikoji to just waiting for the opportune moment to... Throw it out. Ah! Oh, and the delayed! Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, this is gonna be hard. Oh, Ken! Oh, no, no, no! No, this is so unfortunate! Oh, he's dead! Oh my lord, the unfortunate! This is the winner's final! Uh, I play Melia, I have put him. Melia is my pocket character, nice. She's also very fun, she uh, is, she is. I'm sorry, oh, I'm sorry, I'm changing pieces to, uh, I think, um, the full quality of life, I think, in the character, this is definitely reskilled times a little bit more. I think characters are like, full nice burst, right? Um, very nice burst, and just like uh, this, man, catches Daru Ino off of his feet. Zij, thank you very much for the raid. Really appreciate it, my brother, my boy. And uh, it's Karisama for the uh, tournament. You did, you had a good run, man. Okay, and here we go with the perfect from Kohide, man. That was, oh my lord, that was a freaking speed run, man. I would jam an answer. Oh, really? You would jam? I wouldn't, I wouldn't, uh, je pas pensé que tu voulais jouer uh, tous les tests jam, uh, Akemi. I wouldn't have thought that Akemi would like to try jam. Just like this, Darino, and finding answers on his own and Finding the correct conversion. This is gonna. Uh, uh, and here we go. Oh no! No overdrive from Darino. He could have taken it. Ooh, and then, are you serious? That's something when you're when you're in the middle of being RC'd. Oh my lord! And the slippery slope. Oh. Oh my lord. Okay. 
I choked real hard. It's okay, Zinj. We all choked. Oh my... Again? And just like this, I think... Yeah, yeah. And yeah, just like this, actually. Cool. He did Amanda just to take the first match of this encounter against Daru Ino. A quick first match from... And it's, this is real unfortunate because Darino had it several times. He could have finished it if he um, did the overdrive instead. But I think, yeah, he, he didn't expect the wall break at that particular moment. Or else he would have definitely used the overdrive. This is obvious. Surtout, uh, answer en vrai. SNK, mais Jam, j'aimais bien sur XRD et Testa, je préfère sa version de QCRD. D'accord, je comprends mieux. Ah bah oui, c'est vrai, c'est sûr. Ah bah, tout le monde préfère la version... Enfin, tous les joueurs de Testa préfèrent la version plus serre de Testa que sa version Strive, c'est sûr. Gio, we have jam at home. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We have jam at home, exactly. Oh my lord, yeah, but yeah. It's it's so crazy to see Daruno struggle so much against Kohide. Where he actually finds uh, a lot of success fighting TY, you know? And here we go with the Nasante and the immediate use of the over the aerial overdrive for the wall break. There we go. And the flip kick for the kill. Very nicely done by Kohide. <laughs> I think that means that uh, Gio is considered like a, a, a jam, a jam sort of player, I suppose. They probably have like the same way of, of fighting, I guess. Like, well, that's what what uh, that's probably what uh, Zero Symbolic Sun is uh, yeah. implying, I suppose. And uh, thank you very much for the follow, LLS 435, and welcome to the Bird Jobs. And just like this, man! Oh my lord, Koi takes the second match as well. So freaking clean, man. Thank you very much for the follow, Zero Symbolic as well. Welcome to the Bro Joes. Oh my lord, and just... Oh, it's crazy, man. Darino down to... <laughs> and you can see Nekoziru doing the uh, doing the uh, the dance in front of Darino. <laughs> My lord. Yeah, probably taunting him. Oh, this is crazy. Okay, let's see how this goes. We can't hear you, Akuma. Well, we can't hear you? I, I'm pretty sure we can, though. Let me see. Oh, we can't hear you, actually. Oh. Oh no no we we can't hear you we can't hear you we can we can. Oh. Um, I'm getting I'm gonna like maybe can't you uh, raise your volume or something? Any possible? Uh, I can somehow bomb on my phone. Ah, it's okay. I'll, I'll just raise it here manually. It's okay. I raised it now. It should be fine now. Mm. The boss. How's it going, Lancian? Lancian, how's it going? Yeah, this should be better now. Mm. I can do some ASMR mod too because. <laughs> okay, here we go with uh, the. Uh, and Darino already <laughs> down a game, a, a round. This is match freaking point already, man. And Darino struggling to to deal with Kohide's. Um, well, with Kohide's uh, uh, offense right now. It's crazy. It's really. It's so. It's so unusual. Oh, and this I'm should. Oh, this is okay. Yeah, burst from Darino. Saved by the burst. Yeah, Darino, like, really, really struggling with Kohide, man. I don't know if it's <laughs> the, the playstyle Kohide that's making... I think definitely. Hope, my, my hopes for Season 2 is that yeah. I hope they give mixed characters more damage output. Mm. Yeah. Like, damage output. I think it's, it's okay to, like, need to have to mix your opponent to, like, win a game if that's what your character does. But, like, yeah. you know... Uh, they, they, you want them to, to tone it down, basically, the damage. Oh, no, I think mixed characters have, like, more damage. Oh, yeah, like, definitely. I'm know. definitely all for it. That would be awesome. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think it would be cool. Because, like, that would also make this character more popular. Yeah. Um, because, I don't know, Soul would be doing Soul things, right? Where everything he does is, like, one-touch feeling. Yeah. And then poor Eno here gonna have to hit the tank in, like, a thousand times. <laughs> Yeah, the, the um, Koida is definitely on point, Lancian. Definitely on point. It's crazy. He's been he's been really really dominant when it comes to fighting against Darino. Like I don't think I don't think he lost a single that ever since his uh, his win against Darino, his first win. I don't think he ever lost to Darino afterwards. So yeah, it's no. He's, he's definitely being extremely dominant when it comes to fighting Darino. He does know the uh, the Eno matchup a lot. 
There we go, but yeah, uh, for now, Dorian will definitely a little bit angsty. <laughs> I can feel it in his gameplay right now. He's definitely a lot more, a lot more like uh, aggressive in his play. He's gonna go with the walk of the Emperor. Ooh, and the cheeky, the cheeky uh, bag dash right, right there from Nikolija to uh, oh, oh my lord, here we go. Ah, and the mega well. fist counter, this is gonna do a lot of damage. What the hell did you see this instant block? Combined with the FD, that was crazy. Ooh. Oh, oh, and the conversion was sick. The conversion was sick. Oh, okay, and the uh, jump grab. Oh, my, uh, this this match is crazy. <laughs> this match is crazy. And first match going on to Daru. You know, really, really clean win. Very nicely done. Let's see how this pans out. Is Nikolito going to be able to adapt and bring it back? I did. I just saw the replay. Yeah. When someone does IBFD, it is always like so shocking to see how far back it actually can push someone. Yeah, did you see? Yeah, it's crazy, man. It, it like it pushes him like a, a quarter, the uh, half a, a screen away. So it's like, yeah, it's <clears> actually <throat> pretty substantial. Anyways, here we go with Daru Ino and Nikolajin. Nikolajin using the instant block to punish accordingly. The uh, it's called the um, the stroke attempts from Daru Ino. Very nicely done. Okay, I'm still 100 people IB, man. That's still nuts for me. Yeah, me too, man. I can't <laughs> IB for the life of me. Well, not Two frame not windows. Consistently. Yeah, it is. And here we go with Darino using the March of the Emperor. Ah, and this should do. Very nicely done. Takes the first round. Darino definitely uh, on point, man. Definitely on point. Mm -hmm. I have to say, I prefer the walk to the like, wall hunting. The walk just yeah, looks even more taunting. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the the walk is way better. It's like, but I feel like the, the walk of the emperor feels more threatening. Though, I feel right? like the humping, the humping seems more like disrespectful. But the the walk of the emperor is a lot more threatening. <laughs> <I feel. laughs> the humping. <laughs> Anyways, that being <laughs> said, <laughs> in a friend, right? Right? oh, and the burst read from Nikolajito and the. 2, uh, 2k into 2d for the win by Nicholas. He finally puts one on the board. Well, one round, that is. That was pretty tough. Eno strut in, indeed, yeah. The Eno strut. The, uh, the walk of the Emperor. No, well, the, em the Empress. <laughs> in that case. I wonder if it's yeah. more consistent as well. Like, I, I know the, 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 the war hump tech was kind of like harder to manually. It was manually timed anyway, right? Uh, yeah, it's manual time. Oh my lord, did you see this? This RC into the command grab. Ah, oh, that was so dirty. That was so dirty, but that was so cool at the same time. Ah, oh, well played by Darino. Takes the second match as well. <laughs> that was so dirty, but so good at the same time. Very well played. You know, too strong. Yeah. Into the command grab. That's oh, not. it's so strong, man. It's so strong. As expected from Sensei. Very nicely done. Just like this, there are, you know, two points, uh, two leading points right now. He just needs one more match and he's back in the grand final for his run back with uh, with Kohide. Let's see if Nikojiru will let him do so. My lord, look at this. Ah, this, this conversion from Darusan is crazy. Okay, here we go with the counter hit. Very nicely done. And here we go, man. Just going ham. What the hell was that? I didn't even know you could do this. What the hell was this combo? What the hell was this combo? Yeah, the secret. Oh, my lord. And here we go with the perfect. The perfect. <laughs> this is crazy, man. Okay, here we go. The butt, the butt slam from Nikojiro. And Nikojiro seeming a little bit confused right now. Okay. Almost got hit by the well, but got hit by the Mega Fist. And here we go, the far S for the counter hit. Very nicely done. Okay, here we go. Finally the Arena. Finding an opening. Ah, here we go, the double hover. And Nikolaj is still not biting, but does get open again by the grab, man. Oh, Three times in a row. One more grab. One more. Yeah, one more grab. You know he's a grab <laughs> character, by the way. I, I, I uh, failed to tell you, but she's a grappler. Okay, Ooh, what the, the hell was that? Uh, what the hell was that? Okay, here we go. You're in the Garuda Impacto. Jail. Oh, and the Mega Fish for the... Yeah. Not the win, no. actually. Almost. Almost. Fair enough. 
Ah. Oh, en de slap. De slap voor de win. De slap. Well done by Neko Jara Jiro. Very nice and oh, here we go. Okay, Neko Jiro a little bit more at ease, I think. He's finding a little bit more. Ah, this is unfortunate. And just like this, you are dead. Yeah, yeah, well. This, this was death. This was death. You couldn't do this. This was like guaranteed death. Yeah, some characters are privileged and have uh, burst proof strings. I'm saying this, but uh, Inu also have uh, uh, burst proof uh, uh, combo, so. But yeah, definitely well played, well played. Nekojiru bringing it back one to uh, actually I, I didn't update it. I'm sorry. Uh, this to one, two to one. I'm sorry. For Nekojiru, well for Darino actually. Let's see if it, how this pans out. All I hear is Katsu, Katsu. Ah, Nekojiru. Okay, okay, I see. <laughs> indeed, indeed, indeed. Ah. Uh... Okay, and here we go with. Uh, Darino trying to make his way ever so slightly towards Nikozito, and here we go, catches the Mega Fist in the air, and this conversion into the wall break. Very nicely done. Let's see how Nikozito. Oh my lord, the air grab for the almost win, and who? Nikozito just popping the burst, not afraid, man, even though it's. Yeah, yeah that was the end of the round, this is unfortunate. I think that was. Uh... Panic burst, burst yeah. yeah, the 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 habit burst, I'd call it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ah, this is unfortunate. Okay, here we go with Darino. Oh my lord, just using all of the mixes, mm -hmm. the mixes in the book, man. Yeah, the conversions are actually pretty crazy, you know. Oh, oh, and the mega fist. Uh, oh, 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 the pickup. Oh, that pickup. Are you serious? Okay, and here Nico Jiro on his last leg. Damn, it's so oh, cool. Oh my yeah, lord, that sick. was so good. Grand final, the only person who was able to knock Darino out was Kohide. And right now, Darino is facing him yet again. Let's see how this pans out. This is a, an opportunity for Darino to bring it back. I really do hope he does, because it's going to be more entertaining factor for us. Level 7000, yeah, man. These guys don't, they don't freak around, man. Oh my lord! What? He was able to six speed the, the, the this attack from uh, from uh, from Gio. That's um, surprising. Anyways, I think it was five K. No, hmm? I don't think it was. It was the other one. You know, the two three six. Uh, I think it was the two three six one. You know, how do you call it? I grab the really annoying uh, one that uh, you cannot six speed. I grab uh, the flip. Oh, not the flip. Yeah, the, uh, oh, the flip you, you, you can. Yovana. Spatula or something? Spatula? I don't know. Ah, uh, Sepultura? <laughs> Maybe? Sepultura, I guess? I think it's the Sepultura. I never, I never, I never learned the names. I think I'm it's Sepultura. The... I'm pretty sure it's no. Sepultura. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you. Yeah, I think it's Sepultura. Uh... And it is Sepultura. Yeah, I thought he did Sepultura. <laughs> and Daru was able to 6 p it. I'm, I might have uh, seen it incorrectly though. Announcer voice, if you've never done this before, then you haven't been to Michigan. Let's get this money, round one point. <laughs> it's rainwater. <laughs> rainwater. Yeah, we're on a totally different rainwater. character now. <laughs> but yeah, I like the reference. Uh, I like the invoice. The, I like the uh, the inside joke. I mean, must really appreciate it. <laughs> Damn, to the entire. That move is cursed, it is, man. Just like this, Taurino puts one on the board. We're back. We're back, baby. Are we going to see a bracket reset? That would be freaking sick. I'm Let's 2D see. Hunter, that moves first. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Man. Nah, the, 2D, the 2D does everything. Like, it, it makes your tea, it prepares your breakfast, it, it makes your bed, it cleans your house, it takes your children to, to their school. It does literally everything. <laughs> no, seriously, man. Yeah. I hate this 2D so freaking much. Anyways, here we go on to the next battle. Let's see if Kohide finds some sort of adjustment. The 6P again for the opening by Daurino trying to. Bait this burst from uh, from Kohide actually, and finally the burst has been baited, but uh, well not baited but has been triggered, and here we go with Darino and definitely a lot looking a lot more alive this time around. Move name is Sepultura and you can six p it on reaction. I don't think you can six p it actually. Uh, look at the description from uh, from uh, from the Sepultura. I don't think you can six p it actually. 
If you're on Dust Loop, look at the description. Or if there's uh, Exxon, he can he can probably. Well, I think even how come you can confirm you cannot six speed the Sepultura, right? Uh, if it's on the ground, so. I'm sorry. It hits up. It hits on the ground. So yeah, it hits on the ground. So. It depends. It probably depends on active frame timing though. And the backdash into 2k 2d for the win. Well done. And thank you very much, Lancien, for the le sub. What the hell happened? What already? 2-0? Already? 2-0. Oh, yeah, me too, man. I know the simple tour yeah, is minus depending yeah. on the... Yeah, it's minus. It's minus, but uh, it's un 6 -peeable. It seems like uh, it hits below the waist. Yeah, it does, it does. So it hits the 6 yeah, yeah. You cannot 6 I simple tour. I, I know it all too well. <laughs> I know it all too well. So I don't understand how he managed to do it. That's what. The, so he probably didn't use simple tour then. I probably um, didn't mm, recognize the... I think it was and you can Come see Darwino definitely out for blood. He's not happy. He's not happy to have lost uh, the winner's final to Kohide Kote. Very... Oh, and you're good to Nasante. Yeah. This is gonna hurt like a mother humper. Yeah. Into... No! Tension. Okay. No over there. Okay, well. Keeping me here. Keeping me Yeah. Keeping me here. Yeah, definitely. And right for so. Just like this is gonna be... A... Oh, no! You dropped it! You dropped it! Why would you go... Mind. And the Supreme Tier up for the win. Well done, he takes one round. It's still not over though. Okay, you can see Darwin will definitely pestering a little oh. bit more cool here, but saved by the there 2D. That low profile, the freaking. <laughs> the, 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 yeah. <laughs> that uh, I mean, low profile, I have, the cycle burn. Ooh, that overdrive I punish. Have. And just like this, Darino gets swooped by D2D with a perfect by Kohi. They takes one match as well. But it's okay. It's Darino yeah. definitely still has two more matches to go, uh, two more opportunities in order to reset the bracket. So it's definitely not over. Really over. That was a. Yeah. Um, that was it. The shaker. Exactly. Yo, what a read! Mm -hmm. That was a pretty crazy, crazy read indeed. Man. Freaking, just like when we used to play Giovanna and nobody. Just like yeah. the same. Exactly. <laughs> okay, let's see how this will pan out. Is Daruino gonna be able to take it and the air grab just like this by Daruino? Oh my lord, and no, you're too far to try. Oh, you're too far to actually get hit by the burst. This is, oh, and the flip kick. Oh, that was crazy good. Yeah, Koei did definitely wanting to go and grab. You can feel it. Oh, nope, you're staying here, sir. Oh, oh, the, com oh, the conversion. Bro, the conversion and the ah, oh, the double Sorry. overhead for the win. Very nicely done by Daru Ino. Is he going to be able to reset the bracket? We're on reset bracket uh, point. Bracket reset point. Reset mm. bracket point. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let's see how this pans out. And the oh, the conversions are oh. there, man. And here we go. Ah, uh, the march of the emperor. Here we go. The march of the emperor. I, oh, oh, I, oh. I, I, Oh yeah, and this is gonna be a bracket reset! Look at this! With the swaggy ending by Darino takes it 3 to 0 and just like this we have a bracket reset ladies and gents! This is wonderful! <laughs> Very nicely done! And yeah, let me just update real quick this, but they probably won't give me the time to do so. <laughs> yes, this is what I thought. I'm gonna update it on the fly because I am a professional person. Okay, here we go. Perfect. We have we have a bracket reset. And here we go three to one for Daru Uno. Let's see how this turns out. Okay. <clears throat> that was freaking clutch. Okay, right. here we go with right. yeah, Darino out for blood, man. He definitely didn't like the fact that we to put him in the, the losers. Didn't like it. I want to win! You are not winning, sir! <laughs> that was great. Praise the sun! Exactly. Oh, my lord! Darino resorting to use every single trick in the book to open up Kohide Man. Oh, okay. And even the. Ah, unfortunately for him. Oh, okay. No, not something for you. Oh! And the reaction. Overdrive for the win. That was crazy, man. Darino on a freaking. Streak! Look at this! Is this this is a freaking steamroll, my lord! Ah! Oh. And here we go, the march of the emperor. 
Empty low for you, March of the Emperor. And oh, and no! Oh, damn, but Kuhi's a little bit too late to punish. This is unfortunate for him. Okay, here we go. Very nice punish from Darino, man. Oh, I can feel. Ah, oh, Kohida, okay. Here we go. Kohida. Maybe this is what he needed. He needed a, a positive. Uh, oh, no! Oh, careful. He's gonna no. do something. He's gonna do something. I can feel something. Careful. Kohida oh, catches the black dash. Can't avoid that super. Oh, and oh, to stroke the raw stroke for the win, man. Just like this. Darino takes the lead 1 to 0. This is so freaking hype, man. Holy freaking lord. My lord. <laughs> this is crazy. Yeah, Dar is on Super Saiyan mode. He stole my he stole my camera effect right there, man. He's definitely on Super Saiyan. If you go on his stream right now, you'll see he has the Super Saiyan aura. I can guarantee it to you, man. <laughs> this is crazy, man. This is so crazy. Mm. Oh, again, just like this. On to the next battle. Is Kohide going to find some sort of adjustment to try to bring it back? We shall see in the next episode. Oh. In the next episode? Exactly. For the stream ending? Exactly. <laughs> of Dragon Ball. Okay, that being said, I just need to update a couple of things. Oh, why is it always next episode? Oh, why never I, this episode? I oh, next episode. Blame the game, not the player. <laughs> Blame the beast, not the, not the, not the game. Ah, here we go, <laughs> finally. Kohida looking hey, alive this today. time. Show them the power of Giovanna once more. Don't show them nice. the power of Giovanna once more. Oh. <laughs> I, want, I want Hino to win, man. I'm biased. I'm, I'm, I'll tell you right away, I'm biased. <laughs> I'm biased, man. I'm biased for Giovanna. <laughs> <laughs> then we're both biased. Yeah. <laughs> For the other, so it's fine. It balances out. <laughs> here we go. Nice, like that. Very and nice, like Oh, here we go. Darnell failed to uh, punish it correctly. Oh, it's okay. He it's is definitely. Here we go. The walk of the emperor, man. He doesn't even care if he's wall splatting you now. He just does the walk of the emperor whenever. Well played by Darino. Okay, he puts one round on the board as well. Let's see how this pans out. With the wonderful music of uh, no. the Rainbow Road of Mario Kart Wii. In the background, <laughs> this is so perfect. <laughs> I'm gonna put something a little bit more dramatic though. <laughs> it doesn't seem like it doesn't feel I'm like a grand final right there. Let's put some King, King of Fighters now. Here we go. Oh my no god. Nice oh, here we go, yeah. And just like this, okay. Koid is gonna oh, take oh. it. No, actually, no. Oh, Darino's still alive. Oh, and the standing K and the standing P for the win. Okay, one match a piece. Are we gonna go down to the wire, man? That would be freaking awesome. <laughs> I need to review my my BGMs, man. Not my BGM, my uh. Yes, my BGM. <laughs> that, that song was that was it was fun, but it definitely didn't feel like a, a high tension, high stake no, grand no, final no. <laughs> guilty gear type, no, I think, no. you know. <laughs> I need to do this thing. The people's elbow, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Giovanna's man. <now>. Oh, <laughs> I think I'd rather oh be trapped in the corner by a ram than me, you know. I... yeah, well, well why not? I, I agree, actually. Here we go with Daru Eno. Trying to make his way ever so slightly, and of course, they're really doing a good job of using the 2D to prevent Daruino from using the... Uh, the stroke to try to close the gap. And no, Nasante here for you, and you are staying in the corner, sir. Hello. A big combo incoming. Here we go with the wall break into the well, the overdrive into the wall break. This is gonna be a huge hard knockdown. We go with the double. <laughs> oh, is it? Oh, this is gonna do actually. Damn, yeah, look at that conversion, man. Darino out for blood, man. Very nice conversion. Good stuff. Good snuff. Oh, and the 2D counter. Yeah, Darino had to block it. He had to burst this. He didn't have a choice. Okay, we go going low this time around, Kohide aware, oh my lord, and the conversion is real! Uh, okay, you can see Darino definitely more worried that um, uh, that Kohide might use Nasante. That's why he tends to not hover too long, because he knows that Kohide might use the hover. Oh, th this would have been dead. Oh my lord, and the bait of the YRC. And just like this, we are on 
on oh. a potential tournament set right there. We are on tournament set, actually. Damn, Dario bringing it back, man, getting his revenge on Kohide. This is actually pretty hype. Is Kohide going to be able to turn the tide, bring the momentum back in his in his in his hands, or is just Dario gonna snatch it away from him? Like a candy from a from a little kid. Is Dario gonna be that <laughs> that Zonkoku that uh, that evil? We shall see. Oh, and again the 2D man, that wonderful it, oh, and here we go, the, the, the Koida recognizing that uh, Darino blocked the Sepultura. Oh, no. wait, look, did you see this? No. Oh, that freaking... Oh, no. Oh, that was crazy. Okay, uh, careful, Nasante, I could sense the Nasante from 20,000 miles away. <laughs> oh, yeah, you got hit, you got hit, you got hit, yeah. Yeah. It's 2-2, two, two. oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, no, it's 2-1, uh, it's 2-1, it's 2-1, okay. it's two, one. It's two, one, uh, Nimas. <clears throat> it's 2-1 for Darino. Yep. Okay, here we go. Koide definitely looking a little bit more alive this time around. Puts one more on the board. Oh, and the big counter hit. Followed by the H stroke because Kohide, you do not stop back mashing. And Darino yeah. definitely caught this up. Amazing round. It is, man. This is a pretty hype round. That was a brave mash indeed. Oh, and the flip kick adequately uh, was called blocked by Darino. Oh, oh, the double no. Nasante, yeah, yeah. man! You hate to see it. You hate to see it. This is gonna do a lot of damage, by the way. Okay, and Koi did not. Uh, oh. Yeah, no super, man. He keep. He always keeps his super for this. <laughs> this unfortunate for him. It's not enough to kill, though. Oh no! And the <laughs> slide, man. The slide, man. Oh no! You gotta get hit. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh no! Yeah, we go. Guys, this is gonna go down to the wire. We have two to two. Holy crap, the next match determines everything. And we have a freaking hot music, by the way. Grand Blue Final Fantasy versus this is, I believe, the theme of uh, not Lancelot, the other one of. Uh, of uh, what's his name? Oh no, it's not. Uh, first of all, yeah, this, this is gonna be a high freaking match, man. Oh, with the freaking yeah. awesome BGM right there. Okay, here we go. On to the next battle. It's gonna be the last. Freaking match of tonight's tournament, guys! Bring up the hype! Holy freaking lord! Bridge the sun, indeed! Oh, this is gonna be so freaking crazy! Okay, here we go. This is the last match of this of tonight, guys. The one who takes this one takes it all. Here we go. Early burst by both opponents. Definitely not wanting to take any sort of pressure. Very nice down block from Kohide. Oh, and Darino, who was unable to 6 p.m., but found the way to open him up right after. Uh, uh, here we go, yeah. Kohide holding strong. Oh, here we go. And the delayed over for the opening just like this. Darino takes the lead with the first round. On to tournament point, guys. How is it gonna pan out? Oh my lord, this is so freaking tight. Ah. Oh, here, okay, very nice block by Kohi. They managed to. Uh, oh my lord, did you see this mix? This flip kick, man, that was so freaking awesome. The cross up into the flip kick. And just like this, Kohi did in. Looking pretty good to take the second round. Oh my lord, and the Santa to run, the Santa to grab. Oh no, unfortunate for. No! Oh. Oh no, Kohide, you hate to see this. You hate to see it. Oh, but no, Darino had the overdrive right there, but he decided not to use it. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, oh my lord. Oh, I think he blocked it. Oh no, he didn't block it. No, are you serious? On to the yeah. next, the last round of the last match of this tournament, guys. Holy crap, right after a freaking tournament reset. How is this gonna pan out? Oh, this is so freaking hype. Oh, here we go. Nope. Darino, oh, this is huge. 2 HS uh, counter hit right there. Oh, and Darino catches the back dash. He's going to get the overdrive into hard knockdown. Okay, Koide yeah. needs to get the correct read right there. Oh, he's dead. Oh, the empty low. Oh, the flip kick. Oh, my lord, he punished the flip kick with the six speed. So crazy.